Good afternoon, students. Welcome to today's English class. And uh, till yesterday, we were uh, not till yesterday. Yesterday, in particular, uh, we were discussing about the general English grammar contents related to verb forms and uh, perfect tenses as well. Should I give you an idea? What what was V one, V two, V three? V one present tense, V two past tense, V three past participle, and how they undergo the changes. Should I give you such kind of ideas? Plus, I also gave you an idea about how to use have, has, and had. I also gave you an idea that have and has are present perfect tenses. H A D had is past perfect tense, etc. etc. Today, let us see some exercises. Now, girls, don't think that this is part of your syllabus, but this is not part of your syllabus. But I'm just doing these things to improvise your grammar skills. Improvise your grammar skills. Okay. So, fill in the blanks with suitable verb forms. Let us see that. Yeah. Right. Today's first one. Let's see this. My. Okay. Teacher. Always. And here in the brackets. Encourage. Am I right? Yeah. My teacher always dash encourage us. Encourage. Now she gives some kind of support by praising them. Occasionally by praising them uh, by showering some encomiums on them based on their performances, this and that. That means here encourage is encourage is nothing but she gives them the required boost energy. Okay. So let us see. My teacher always anchor in always dashes. And in the brackets, it's given as encourage. Now, what do we get? Yesterday, whatever we thought about this one. Check this: E N C O U R A G E, encourage. Okay. Next one. Encouraged. Encouraged. But here, check this one. Encouraged present tense, encouraged past tense, encouraged past participle. Now check this. My teacher always dashes. Here, take a look at this one. Always. That means, irrespective of present, past, and future. Her only duty, as a teacher, not only just teaching, but also she does something. That is that is given in the brackets. What is that? Encouraged plus. Here, my teacher. Teacher is singular. Okay, teacher is singular plus the third person singular as well. The third person singular. Yesterday I gave you an idea. He, she, it, and any singular form. Teacher singular. Okay, and check this one here. Here, teacher is singular plus here in the the thing that is available in the brackets is also in present tense that is singular. So what happens? My teacher always. Okay, because this is singular. What do we get is. Encourages us, encourages, encourages us. Okay, my teacher always encourages us. Next one, another one. Yeah, it's given as don't disturb. Am I right? Hmm. Kama. Okay. Don't disturb the baby who is who is dash there. Who is dash in the brackets? It's given as sleep and there. Check this. Don't disturb. The baby who is dash there. Now check this one. Don't 
d would do if you if you just stop this nt check this one i remove this for a while d would do do is nothing but present tense and in present tense there is something negative related to a negative thing don't disturb but of course after using this don't disturb we get a positive meaning and up up till here this is negative don't and after that we get a positive don't disturb the baby okay so present tense don't disturb the baby who is dash there and here sleep now what happens now disturbance related to a baby and what that baby is doing and here that baby is why because who is after is is in present tense that is this is the helping verb any any verb that follows is sleeping there don't disturb the baby who is sleeping there because check this one who is sleeping for example we get a number of things like this what is she doing she is eating what is he doing he is reading okay what is she doing she is writing notes now before every verb in the continuous tense in present tense right it is definitely preceded by is is she is writing notes he is eating lunch okay they are playing cricket for example why we got are here is they they is plural fourth person plural they and uh, followed by ar er and that ar er is also followed by playing ing they are playing okay for example i gave you another one right ah oh, check this one most of the students most of the students okay dash and in the brackets b b check this one all right most of the students okay absent and after this it's given as yesterday Now check this one, girls. Most of the students dash absent yesterday, and in the brackets this is B form. So brackets B form, B E B. And here the important thing in this entire sentence is yesterday. This yesterday is an indication that that entire sentence is in past tense. That the entire sentence is in past tense. Yesterday is an indication that the entire sentence is in past tense. Okay. Now check this one. Past tense plus. Take a look at this one. Students, plural. So verb in the past tense, right? I am sorry. Sentence in the past tense plus. Check this one. Students, plural. And here in the brackets, this is be form. So here, what we get is something directly related to this one. Yesterday, most of the students. This is past tense, and this be form makes it to go for war. yesterday most of the students were absent okay i'll give you similar sentence right few students dash again in the brackets this is b form check this one now the only difference check this one girls yesterday this is past tense today this is present tense this is yesterday past tense this is today present tense most of the students were absent yesterday and here check this one few students dash present today the same b form okay of course the sentence might appear a bit different to you but the meaning is still the same i repeat most of the students were absent yesterday most of the students were absent yesterday is nothing but few students were present now the same thing is said here check this one few students dash present today yesterday is past tense today is present tense and check this one present tense plus students is plural once again similar to this one students and students students plural 
B form, but present tense. So what happens here? Few students are present today. So in past tense, for plurals, we refer those plurals with the help of this helping verb. And in present tense, that is today, which is an indication, same students, same B form. And in present tense, plurals are right followed by A R E R. Plurals, plurals are referred to with the help of this A R E R. What are we doing now? We are discussing grammar. We are discussing grammar. And you check this one, are present today. Right? And here we don't have any verb. We don't have any verb. Right? Next thing. Right, check this one now. He dash in the brackets it's given he dash play for two hours. Check this. He dash in the brackets play after that for two hours. Now what do you get here girls? For two hours. Presence of for and in the bracket this is play. What happens is he play changes to played for two hours. For example, check this one. P play played played. He played for two hours. That means the time he took to complete his play. So that is said as he played for two hours. Next one. Uh, right, check this one. Here it is given as Kavita dash not after that dash Then in the brackets it is given as pay her uh, right T E term fee yet. Now check this one girls Kavita dash not dash after that we have only P A Y in the brackets. But of course, even there is another blank, sorry, another blank as well in the beginning itself. But this blank is not followed by any kind of verb in the brackets. But here, this blank is followed by a verb in the brackets. Her term fee yet. Okay. Now check this. What is Kavita here? Yesterday I gave you an idea. Kavita noun. Right. And here, Kavita can be third person singular here. Kavita is third person singular. Okay, and why it yet itself is an indication that the entire sentence is in present tense. Yet is nothing but until now. Until now, okay, which means the fee is not paid by her. So what do we get here? Kavita, this is singular. Any kind of singular form. Yesterday I told you, there is third person singular, he, she, it, and any singular form. And for any singular forms in present tense, what do we use? Kavita has not and what is this p a y pay check this p a y pay present tense past tense is paid past participle is also paid so check this kavita has not what is that what do we get here p a i d that is the third form kavita has not paid her term fee yet Okay, next one. Another one. The train dash already 
dash in the brackets it's given as leave before he reached the station i repeat the train dash already dash in the brackets it is given as leave before he reached the station <coughs> that means a person has got late to the i mean a person has reached late to the railway station and because of his late reaching what happened was the train left so check this one here the train dash already dash similar sentence girls previous sentence dash not dash here the train dash already dash here in the first sentence between these two things we have got nvt not and here between these two sentence we got i already so the train dash already dash before he reached the station so what is this now leave in the brackets the verb form is leave check this one girls leave okay what is the past tense of leave left left now check this one kavita was third person singular we have to understand it because he she it and any singular form can be third person singular so what happens here check this one kavita has and here the similar case the train it he she it it is related to these kind of things the train the bus the plane the bicycle the okay the bike the car something like this so here the train okay singular and for any singular check this one here already dash okay so here already and check this one before before is an indication before is an indication that before is an indication that this entire sentence is in past tense so for past tenses we cannot use hs has and yesterday i gave you an idea about this one what was that the train had h a d why did we use had before this is past tense in advance okay so the train had already leave what is the third form left the train had already left okay before he reached the station so before is an indication that the sentence is in past tense and in past tenses we should not use hs has we should use only h a d had past perfect tense and check this one do we have anything like before or anything else related to past tense here there is nothing in that sentence that's why taking kavita into consideration and the singular form we have used hs has but here the train and here we have before and already is also an indication that this entire sentence is in past tense okay next one girls yeah let me rub these things now is bomb yes sir verb forms another one check this one girls m a n man dash in the brackets it is given as b e b man b form i am m o r t a l immortal or mortal sorry sorry mortal mortal let's check this man dash mortal again we have a b from b e b right and go back to the previous sentences girls we got two sentences yesterday most of the students were absent yesterday few students are present today were in the brackets b form are in the brackets b form 
and even here B E B. Now, why did we get were for yesterday? Because that were was past tense. Yesterday was past tense. Okay. Plus, the word that preceded the blank in that sentence was students. Students. That was plural. Students was plural. In the in the following sentence was also there. Uh, it was students and uh, both were plurals. But here, check this one, man. Is this plural or singular? Singular. More than one is plural, right? Less than two is singular. More than one is plural. Less than two is singular. Okay. Now check this one, man. B form. So singular plus B form is man is mortal. And what do you understand by this? Man is mortal. Human being. Man means human being. Any human being is mortal. Mortal is any human being has to die one day. Has to die one day, which means mortal is has to face the death. One day every person will die. Which means in a general way. Okay. Another one. Uh, it in the brackets after dash is rain when I met when I met Pranita so okay it dash in the brackets rain after that when I met and check this one met girls met I repeat it met met and what is met girls here what is met I'll put it here for your convenience meet present tense meet present tense met past tense once again it is met another past tense sorry past participle yeah so it dash in the brackets rain when I met Pranitta and here met is past tense so because of the presence of this verb in past tense makes the entire sentences in past tense so it dash what was happening it what was happening okay in the brackets is given as a name so it this is third person singular it is third person singular plus something was happening so what happens here it was why do we use was because this is plural this is singular and the sentence is in past tense. so it was third person singular plus past tense is was it was what is given in the brackets Raining, it was raining when I met Pranitta. Okay, next one. Yeah, now check this one Akbar ruled India. Oh, sorry, girls. Sorry, forget about this one now. Huh? Now, I gave you the answer. Okay, the CM of Telangana, the CM of Telangana dash in the brackets visit Dubai shortly shortly okay right check this one now Dubai shortly in the brackets this is visit shortly is shortly is very soon shortly means very soon in the coming days okay shortly means very soon that too in the coming days now coming days are categorized under which tense? Coming days, the days which are about to come are categorized under which tense? Future tense. And what is future tense represented by? The CM of Telangana will, future tense is always represented by WILL -L -L, compulsorily. So check this one, shortly is nothing but very soon. So the CM of Telangana will, after the use of will, Whatever that is there in the bracket remains the same. Will visit Dubai shortly. Will visit Dubai 
shortly. Okay, another one. Right, check this one. Manoj. What is that? Will buy the house. When he, okay, when he dash, in the brackets it's given as S A V E save enough money, enough money. What is that? Manoj will buy the house when he dash in the bracket save enough money. Will. Future tense, Manoj will buy the house when he dash save enough money and he, third person singular, when third person singular is there, the following verb should also be in simple present tense. So what happens when he save changes to, when he saves enough money, when he saves, when she saves, okay, when the man saves, when the woman saves, when the boy, when the girl saves, the boy saves. All these are third person singulars and any verb that follows after the usage of third person singulars should be ending with S, should be ending with S, okay. So this is simple present tense, when he saves enough money, okay. Next one, yeah. by the time oh, Dinesh reached the stadium okay wait a minute sorry stadium comma the match dash and in the brackets it's given as start start check this one by the time Dinesh reached the stadium by the time Dinesh reached the stadium that means a person by name Dinesh reaches the stadium so when he reached the stadium, what happened? The match dash. The match dash. And check this, reached, ed, past tense, reached, ed, past tense. Check this one once again, I repeat it like this. Sorry. Reach, reached, reached. Reach, reached, reached, and here it is directly given in past tense. By the time Dinesh reached the stadium, the match dash. So here past tense. So what happens here? The match had past participle. The match had, and after that, check this one. Started. The match had started. Why? Because he was late. To the match, he reached the stadium late, and reached his past tense. And for past tense, let's check this one. What happens is only H A D is accepted. Only that thing is acceptable. H A S has can't be used for this one. Why? Because this is past tense, and has is used only for present tenses, present perfect tense, as present perfect tense. Okay. So these are few things I thought of imparting for you, imparting for you all importing in you all and how many I gave you girls 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so that was the 7th one I think 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 check these things right so whenever you are trying to solve these things fill in the blanks with suitable verb forms you should be careful okay girls the time is up let's meet in the next class